For this video, I'm going to be taking you for a hotel tour of the Coastal Inn located in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Well, what can I say? I had such a great time on my last vacation to Nova Scotia, I decided to come back for another one. Today I checked into the Coastal Inn, which is located in Halifax. This particular hotel has a great location. It's uh, right down the street from the uh, Steel Wheels Car Museum, as well as the uh, Power Center Outdoor Shopping Mall. So there's a lot of great attractions that are nearby. And because um, it's a real popular section of Halifax with the Power Center, uh, there's every possible uh, restaurant you could imagine, you know, almost within walking distance. I mean, there's so many uh, places right around here. Now, let's uh, let's face it. This particular hotel is definitely um, in the budget tier. Um, the rooms are pretty much what you would expect at this price point. The beds were really comfortable, and uh, everything was really clean. The rooms had pretty much every amenity that you would expect. Uh, mini fridge, microwave oven. They even had a coffee machine, which is uh, pretty rare in hotels. Um, I guess people really like their hot beverages up here in Canada. Now, a hotel like this, I would normally rate about a 7 out of 10. Um, but I am going to give this hotel one extra point for the indoor pool. Uh, and those are pretty rare. I mean, I, I you know, I, I did this whole vacation through Canada um, and stayed at three different hotels uh, during my road trip. And this was the only one with an actual indoor pool. Now, the pool itself is pretty small. It's one of the smaller pools that I've seen in quite a while. But let's face it, in a climate up here um, where you're dealing with, you know, negative 20 Fahrenheit routinely in the wintertime, it costs a lot to heat a pool. So I can totally understand why they would uh, make the pools uh, somewhat smaller than what I'm used to in Florida. So is the overall score of 8 going to stand? No, not really. One of the other things that... Um, you know they have here is a complimentary continental breakfast but it's literally the worst one I've ever had in my entire life it's uh, the food is so bad here that I'm actually I'm now deducting a point because the breakfast is so horrible I tried eating um, a bagel and it was it was like chewing a rubber band and you know the, the other options they had I you know I, I guess if you get like the fresh waffle maker you could get something that's at least edible but uh, most of the uh, the danishes and bagels and everything, they were so chewy that um, it's literally the worst. I, I, in these situations where the hotel has a breakfast that's this bad, I kind of wish they didn't bother with the breakfast and they just gave us a couple extra bucks off the hotel room instead because you know you're paying for the breakfast and just just skip the breakfast and, and, and you know, shave a couple bucks off the room. So uh, we're back down to a 7 out of 10 with 10 being the best and uh, I think that's a fair rating for this particular hotel. Uh, the the pool is nice, but that's pretty much the only amenity. I mean, they do have, like, cable TV, but, uh, you know, just about every other hotel has that, too. The customer service and the hotel staff themselves were really, really pleasant. So I definitely uh, was impressed by um, the, their courtesy and uh, just, just excellent customer service. So uh, no complaints there. One of the interesting aspects of this particular hotel that I noticed that I've never really seen at the other hotels is in the lobby, they have a bunch of board games uh, set up, so I, I guess if you ever get snowed in in Nova Scotia and uh, you can't travel out of the airport, they have a bunch of board games to spend time in the lobby while you're waiting for them, I guess, to, to clear the roads, plow the streets. On the ground floor, basically right across from the swimming pool, is a well-stocked soda machine. They also have a snack machine there that's loaded with lots of great candy bars and stuff, so if you have a late-night munchy attack, there are definitely plenty of options down here to resolve it. Uh, there's also a laundry facility on the second floor. So this is a pretty solid hotel. Um, like I said, for a budget option, it's pretty good. My overall score is 7 out of 10. Would I actually put this on my recommended list? Maybe a conditional recommendation. The hotel itself is very average. I don't really think there's really anything that's, that makes this place stand out besides the indoor pool. Uh, if you really want a hotel with an indoor pool, then I guess um, I'd recommend this particular hotel. Otherwise, if the pool isn't important to you, there are definitely nicer hotels in Halifax for around the same amount of money. Well, that pretty much wraps up all my thoughts on the Coastal Inn. If you enjoyed this particular hotel review, don't forget to click on that subscribe button above. Thanks again for watching.